The Russian provisional government's pitiful time at the top lasted only seven months before they were unceremoniously usurped and mostly murdered. So while their legacy is that of a minor stopover on the road to communism, they believed they were the first short setup before Russia could become a true democracy. As such, the construction of the provisional government was not highly complex, as it was only meant to last a few months, which ended up happening. They were clearly self-appointed, but were made up of members of the 1912 Duma, so had a connection to the old rule. They distanced themselves from the Tsar by passing a series of immediate decrees doing things like releasing political prisoners, granting free speech, and abolishing the death penalty. However, the provisional government faced a variety of problems. The biggest was the slipping dates for the promised elections. They stemmed from the provisional government's desire to stay in World War I until they got to a position where peace talks would find them on strong footing. This led to promised dates for elections being missed. The freedom they had given their opponents also led to lots of local parties disagreeing with and criticising the provisional government, which was new for the time. Discontent also came from the socio-economic conditions of the time and the continuing war effort. There were continuing problems with strikes thanks to the Petrograd Soviet, a workers' union dominated by socialist intellectuals. The government realised Petrograd could bring the country to its knees and tried to work with it. They shared authority, but in actuality, the Petrograd opposed much of what the government wanted to do, particularly concerning the war. The government was a coalition, as it contained members of many major parties. They formed a constituent assembly. The provisional government was in a fairly precarious position that ultimately led to its swift demise. They had to work with a group ready and able to cripple the country. They had to win a war, and they had to schedule an election. Ultimately, they achieved none of these things, and have been mostly forgotten compared to what came next.